Right, we've got a load of uh, <coughs> lithium iron laptop battery cells. I'm going to take all these apart. I've done a few here already. <coughs> that one, there's nine. There's another nine. I'm going to try to keep the BMS boards on here, which is that board you can see, then you can test the batteries from that. There's another nine. So these are all Chinese cheapo aftermarket ones, which are actually bought as new. Uh, I have removed some of the labels off them. So that's, I'm going to take apart these big ones first. We'll see what's in those, and then I'll probably set it up on time lapse, and I'll take the rest of them apart. Big glove, <coughs> Cookie Monster glove, and just you can start by hacking them up if you want to. Best way is to get in behind that thing if you can. I must say, these are going to be easier to open than if they were genuine. If they're genuine, they're a lot better built. I Dell, Compaq, Acer, they're pretty good. It's got 12 in. Just be very careful when you're poking in there. <clears throat> so there, I've kept the BMS intact. So that's good. I'm going to make sure all of the plastics are kept together and disposed of correctly. This is a Sony, like I say, they're Chinese aftermarket ones, but this is from a Sony laptop. a bit cack. Some rust in there, very cheapo batteries. <clears throat> Again, make sure you keep all the plastics together. So they'll have to be disposed of ethically. This is <clears throat> to go in, yeah this is a, the aftermarket battery pack for an Acer. It's quite big, so jolly good, more the merrier. So getting behind the uh, BMS connector, if you can. Uh. 
There's 12. <clears throat> when you're laying these down, you don't want the positive ends touching anything or the BMS touching anything. So don't just chuck them in a box. Can use a smaller screwdriver to make the first incision. Come on, baby. Smash it a bit. That's why you wear a big glove, folks. So that screwdriver ends up in your hand. It's not a lot of fun. Even though it somewhat reduces dexterity. Of horrible glue in there. But that's another 12. I've got a multimeter, but I'm just going to probably stick it on time lapse after this one because this is another, this should have nine in. Part number SQU503, lithium iron 11.1 volt, 7800 milliamp hours. Oh, that one was easy. That one was really easy. Very, try and be gentle if you can. Another nine. So yes, <clears throat> video will probably get now go time lapse because I've got oh, a box of them. So, jolly good.